here we have one of the uh, glue-on booster segments. Uh, it basically consists of two 1.25 litre bottles spliced together uh, with a 13 millimetre aluminium nozzle and it also has a pair of winglets uh, and these winglets are designed to help it fall back to earth uh, horizontally. The booster will remain stable as long as it is attached to the rocket. Uh, as soon as the uh, booster stops producing thrust it will fall away and the winglets help guide it away from the rocket. Uh, now the booster is designed so that the centre of pressure and the centre of gravity are roughly aligned and this should cause it to tumble freely um, and hopefully descend slower than if it was a perfectly stable booster. Here we can see the fins cause the booster to sharply pull away. One, go! Now we try the booster without the fins to compare how it falls. One, go! In order to try and get more altitude out of the unstable booster, we add a guide rail extension to the launcher. Here we try the booster again with the winglets. The booster has a much more defined flat spin compared to the end over end tumble without the winglets.